हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर राजीव कमल कुमार फ्रॉम ए एन सिन्हा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सोशल स्टडीज पटना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द मॉड्यूल फैमिली एंड लॉ पैट्रियार्की एंड वायलेंस इन डोमेस्टिक स्पेस फ्रॉम द सोशल कल्चरल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू स्टडी द फैमिली एंड पैट्रियार्की The second objective is to study about violence in domestic space, various forms of domestic violence, and the last objective of this module would be laws of domestic violence. A human family refers to a group of people who share a bond that are associated by a web of relationship through values, emotions, and shared experiences. This unit, not necessarily. has to be united through blood line but through common socializations also in other words family is a unit where its members are economically and socially dependent on each other and share common ideas and values and provide love care and support by both biological and conjugal lines malinowski defined family as a bonded set of people who recognize each other and can be differentiated from other groups in a different social space the concept of family which challenged malinowski's idea of family is that family is a group which comprises of a woman and her dependent children and at least one man connected in the course of marriage or blood relation feminist anthropologists argued that mother child bond or the entity of a couple and children is present in every society but malinowski's features of family may not be universal it is a well known fact that anthropological discourse had been engaged with the debates and talked about diffusion of structures of human family discovery of classification on kinship terminologies and ethnographic account of kinship practices on the one hand and on the other hand the evidence of mother goddess cult in many modern and historical societies has helped scholars to conceive the idea of a universal stage of mother right prior to the stage of father right in human evolution in root for perhaps civilized form of conjugal family seen in the advanced western societies geda lerner has talked about the mechanism through which family reinforces a hierarchical structure where patriarchal values are constantly practiced patriarchal values in this way is regulated and exercised through generation after generation by socializing them the first question that pops up in our mind at the time of birth of a child is boy or girl and gender role are assigned to the child based on the gender by agencies of socialization if it is a boy he gradually tries to imitate the male member of the family especially his father and by imitating him he learns to be dominating by seeing his father ruling status in the family on the other hand the girl socializes herself with caring nurturing loving and submissive mother or any other females in the family these gender stereotypes are not only the socially constructed categories but they are also embodied by both men and women according to the prescribed roles men are responsible agencies of society to earn and look after the family while women are given the responsibilities with domestic work including raising the children and other family members this masculinity and femininity 
highlight the discrimination against women and violence and injustices against women. Masculinity characterizes the socially produced gender roles embodied of being male. It shapes behavioral aspects of male and female. Speech, gestures, social mobility, prescribed roles of a being of being a male. Although this binary nature of public and private spheres is defined by gender, women now exercise and enjoy public domain in terms of economic and educational gain and other purposes. It is also important to emphasize that the archaic gender role expectations are still subtly present in our society. Women are systematically disadvantaged and discriminated against occupation, education, nutrition and subjected to various forms of violence, domestic violence, dowry death, rape, sexual harassment, sexual abuse, physical abuse, female feticide, infanticide, witch killing and so on. According to Margaret Mead, men may cook or weave or dress dolls or hunt hummingbirds, but if such societies are appropriate occupations for men, then the whole society, men and women alike, votes them as important. That is, if men do this work, then it is considered important. When the same occupations are performed by the when the same roles are performed by women, they become less important. Mostly roles which are not confined to women have been given higher status, no matter whatever roles are and for whatever cultural ex explanations are given high status in society are combined with males. A contemporary example can be a good description to facilitate the situation prevailing in societies. Although the concept of being in higher position of science students than students of arts and humanities is changing, even today a science student is given higher status in society than a student of humanities. If the upper status of academic hierarchy is filled by boys, then the scientific community is undoubtedly biased as most science students are boys. Even if there are contemporary modern societies giving equal opportunity in economic sector for men and women, it could not possibly be considered as equality because women not only perform maternal roles but also participate in financial endeavors. As a matter of fact, working both inside home and outside makes women spend working hours to a great extent than the men, labor or task, therefore has been seen as largely male in some society and females in others. Patriarchy The term patriarchy was first introduced in the 19th century under kinship studies. If we break the word into two syllables, it appears as patri meaning pater meaning father and archi meaning rule. The patriarchy suggests a family which is ruled by the father. Patriarchy is a socially constructed idea of male having power and superior position over women. As a matter of fact, the concept of patriarchy is, de is developed on the idea of a hierarchical power relation where women are under control of men in all spheres of life. It confirms the so-called ideas of masculine and feminine traits which sanctions unequal power relation between men and women. Subjugation of women, therefore a ubiquitous phenomenon across globe, but nature of controlling and oppressing women is different from one society to another in different class, caste, 
religion, geography, ethnicity, and socio-cultural practices. Similarly, patriarchy is practiced diversely in developed countries as compared to the developing countries. In Indian context, patriarchy among Dalit, Brahminical, indigenous people differ from one another. Despite the different ways of exercising patriarchy among different cultures, the foundational factor of patriarchy is same everywhere, that is, domination of men over women. Sylvia Walwe, in her theorizing patriarchy, has defined it as a system of social structures and practices in which men dominate, oppress, and exploit women. She used the term social structure to decline the biological determinism which says that men and women are assigned to different gender roles based in their biology. According to Sylvia, the system of patriarchy is formed by six main pillars that influence women's lives. That is, inequality in household work and expropriation of husband, inequality in paid labor, patriarchal model of state, male violence against women, patriarchal relation in sexuality, patriarchal notion of culture, patriarchy and power relation within family. Female sexuality and reproduction in the context of power relation and subordination of women, which according to Michael Foucault is important as they put up with cultural meaning of normal and abnormal behavior that governs people's idea about their body. According to him, body is the focal point of the struggle over the shape of power. It depicts the presence of power at, dis at dispersed levels like family, educational institution, hospital, and so on. But he did not talk about the implementation of power over body. He missed that the part of normalization of women oppression is being performed by everyday patriarchal norms. Another scholar, Susan Bordeaux, has portrayed the beautification of women and her bodily exposure. Many women undergo surgery in order to bring the best beauty out of them, and that beauty is defined by men. Women submit themselves to the power of masculinity by undertaking such surgical procedures. This idea of submission to men is also found in Indian historical text. The ancient Hindu text Manusmriti views an ideal woman with the idea of a good daughter, ideal wife, and lovable mother. According to Manusmriti, a woman's life revolves around men only. She is a daughter of her father, wife to her husband, and mother to her son. Although this image and status of women altered while obtaining ideas from tradition and modernity, the basis of women operation persists. Partha Chatterjee in the year 99 has acknowledged the inconsistent situation of Indian women at the time of freedom movements. Women were highlighted in public domain during this time. Violence in domestic space. In Indian mythology, the ideal womanhood symbolized by Sita is one of the chastised, transparent, gentle, affectionate, loving, honest, truthful, which can neither be demolished or agitated by anyone, whether it is her husband. Denial and condemnation. She tried to defy this set of norms by confronting her husband for his behavior, which is criticized by the society and the state, of course. In fact, a state creates women by composing differences among them. That is, women may be treated with different law and policy based on their religious identities or categories of good and bad, like housewives and prostitutes and normal and atypical. This theory applies when a wife chooses to split the customary bondage and leaves the social 
sanctity. She becomes a deviant character in the eye of society. Meaning of domestic violence can be defined within a broad spectrum and shaped by the varied repercussion. Domestic violence covers a whole range of violence from spousal violence to violence committed by the family members. Domestic violence is defined as form of violent actions perpetrated by family against one of its affiliates or individuals that intimidates and terrorizes the life of the individual and affects psychological affects physically psychologically and her dignity and liberty domestic violence takes place in various forms the types of violence in domestic space under indian penal code and act are dowry death under section 340b of ipc that is indian penal code cruelty by husbands and relatives comes under section 498a dowry prohibition act of 1961 the protection of women from domestic violence act 2005 and dowry death dowry death and bride warning are the cases which one can find in every corner of indian society by definition dowry death connotes death of a young married woman by hanging physical injury burning or any other unnatural stroke of attack following dowry harassment issues committed by her husband and in laws when she or her maternal family fails to fulfill their forced demands in terms of kind or money dowry refers to transmitting property from the bride's family to that of bridegroom during marriage the cultural practices of elding and receiving dowry has been a part of indian culture especially among hindus for a longer period of time the recent practices of dowry system suggest that dowry basically comprises of material gifts and currency to the bridegroom and his family as a prerequisite prerequisite for the marriage dowry is carried out even after marriage dowry in the name of gifts is provided to the husband's family during pregnancy during pregnancy related rituals childbirth initiation initiation ceremonies and so on bestowing gifts therefore does not always remain as a symbol of affection from parents to their daughter and sometimes an act of an act to fulfill the demand from the husband's family the essentials of dowry consist of the gifts for the brides in terms of expensive jewelry garments additional goods like modern day household equipments refrigerators and sometimes vehicles and the list just goes on the dowry prohibition act was promoted in the year 1984 and 1986 in late 70s at the time of second phase of women movement in india dowry related crimes came into notice which was shown to be suicides or accidents problems associated with dowry were always regarded as family issues and the matter of dowry murders were thought to be a case of suicide the legal ignorance have led to the increasing numbers of such lethal instances and at this juncture it is essential to address the issue seriously the dowry prohibition act which was introduced in 1961 prohibits giving and accepting dowry as consideration for marriage under this act punishment for elding demanding or receiving dowry is imprisonment of up to 6 months or a fine up to rupees 5000 the act however had many loopholes having been in pressure from women group this act was amended in the year 1980 and then again amended for the second time in 1986
Malvika Karlikar said that the asymmetrical structure of families result in demanding dowry in forms of gift or cash from bride's family reinforces disparity. The cruelty by husband and husband's relatives. Section 498A of the Indian Penal Code was introduced to combat to combat domestic violence and protection of women from dowry harassment. Husband or relative of husband of a woman subjecting her to cruelty. Anyone, whether her husband or the relative of a woman commits cruelty to the to her, shall be penalized with imprisonment for a period of time which may make longer and shall also be responsible for fine. This section is cognizable and non-valable, non-compoundable offense. In this legal context, cruelty defines a pleasure in tormenting that can compel a woman to commit suicides or cause her severe injury or collapses her life in great danger and affects her physical and psychological health. In other words, harassment of a woman where such harassment is with a view to coercing her or any person related to her to meet any unlawful demand for any property or valuable security or is on account of failure by her or any person related to her meet such demand related to meet such demand. This section therefore can be evaluated with four types of malicious acts. First, any action which compels a married woman to commit suicide. Second, any act which is prone to cause severe injury to the life of a woman and affects her physical and psychological health. Third, intend to harass the woman in order to fetch some property or cash or some material objects from her maternal family. Fourth, finally, subjects the woman to torment when her maternal family or relatives either fail to fulfill the demand for more cash or not giving some property share. Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act 2005 No. 43 seeks to protecting women victims of any kind of violence that occur within the family or household. It was addressed by the Government of India in October 2006. In Indian context, once a girl is married, she becomes an, outside, an outsider to her natal household which supports the idea of rejection to get sympathy and support from her maternal home. When she undergoes physical and emotional pain caused by her marital family, the marriage institution was completely interpreted with more dynamic changes. For example, inter-caste and inter-gutra marriages restrictions were wiped out. Tradition of polygamy was eradicated and divorce was announced. So students, now let us summarize what we have discussed in this module. The term patriarchy suggests a family which is ruled by the father. Patriarchy is a socially constructed idea of male having power or domination or superior position over women. In Indian mythology, the idyllic womanhood symbolized by Sita is one of the chastised, transparent, gentle, affectionate, loving, honest, truthful, which can neither be demolished or agitated by anyone nor by her husband's denial or condemnation. She tried to defy this set of norms by confronting her husband for his behavior, which was criticized by the society and the state, of course. Violence against women to Malvika Karelkar is manifestation of power through asymmetrical gender relations in society. The Dowry Prohibition Acts were promoted in the year 1984 and again in the year 1986. To conclude, 
it would be inappropriate if Hindu court bill is not acknowledged where women rights were introduced. During 1955 and 1956, the Hindu court bill was anticipated by Dr. Im Rao Ambedkar in the parliament which highlighted the women's rights to property. The marriage institution was completely interpreted by interpreted with more dynamic changes. For example, intercaste and gotra marriages restrictions were wiped out. Tradition of polygamy was eradicated and divorce was announced. Thank you.